Hey, are you looking to improve your health with little effort? In case you didn't notice, I'm not a doctor, so if you are actually sick and you're actually not feeling well, go talk to that guy. But if you've just been feeling more run down, more lethargic, more ugh, just not inspired, feeling more heavy, figuratively or literally, then the energy in the north for 2021 may be affecting your health. So I'm gonna share with you some things we do in feng shui to help better that health, better that energy, help people feel better. It's easy, stay tuned. coming in the north for 2021 may be affecting your health. The energy that comes in this year is called the sickness star or the sickness energy. It's a very scary name for a dynamic and complex energy. It doesn't automatically mean sickness. The energy coming in the north is called sickness energy. Now don't panic. This energy comes every year. It's been around every year. It's in your homes and you've never panicked before, but this year we're just going to take a little extra look at it because with knowledge is power if you know how to use it. So I'm gonna give you this knowledge and now I'm gonna show you how to use it. First, observe what's going on in the north area of your home. What do you have over there? Is it the kitchen sink? Is it a bathroom? Is it a storage closet? What's going on in the north? And then think about what is the state of that closet, sink, bathroom. Is it a mess? Is there a leaky pipe? Is the garbage disposal been broken for years? It, did you recently lose a loved one or a friend or a family member and a lot of their belongings from when they passed are still in this closet? What's going on in the north area? Because the point is, if this energy is coming in from the north just for this year, then this isn't, an, and you're not feeling good and you're feeling run down, then this is an area to consciously keep tidy. This is a sign. It's the time to finally fix that garbage disposal. It's okay. You do not have to get rid of all of your friends or loved ones' belongings, but if you could put it in some kind of box and then either tidy it up or put it in a different closet, that will help you see a shift in how you are treating the energy that's coming in. When we have a lot of disorganization or broken things or cracked things or stuff that brings us down, mixing with energy that already is kind of bringing us down, you're not, help, you're not helping mitigate it. You're not helping it, softening the blow. You know what I mean? For me, my bed is in the north. Yay, if you watch all these videos, you know I have the worst energy coming to my front door. And while I sleep, I have the second worst energy coming to my door. So it is a phenomenal year for me. But what do I do? I don't move my bed. I can't move my bed. I'm in an apartment. There's nowhere to move the bed to. One bedroom, the bed goes in the bedroom. So knowing that there's nothing I can do and about moving wise, I sleep and I stay good, I'm in there, but in other areas of my life, I make sure to exercise more, I'm drinking more water, I'm on top of my vitamins. Okay, now that you know where the north in your home is and where this energy is coming to your home, we look at the element that the energy is associated with. In this case, two, the sickness star, the sickness energy, is associated with the earth element. And in our elemental cycle, what redirects that metal, or I mean, just gave it away. <laughs> what redirects that earth energy? Metal. We look at the elemental cycle backwards. We wanna give the earth something to do, so metal is what we need to introduce into the north. The easiest thing you can do is get a set of six Chinese metal coins. They're The easiest thing you can do is get a set of six Chinese metal coins. Six set of Chinese metal coins. Six represents metal, the metal coins represent metal. So both of these in effect help that earth energy get something to do rather than bother you. If the coins aren't for you, which I should note, you don't have to see these. They can be under the couch, under a mat in a drawer, you don't have to see the coins, but if you don't wanna get any coins, you can also tape together six pennies, six nickels, six quarters. Again, metal, six, it's the same thing. 
If none of these coin options are for you, then simply being aware of the energy coming in the north, keeping it tidy, fixing the pipes that are broken, sweeping kind of frequently, again, keeping it clean, keeping it nice, not having any big conversations, any heart to hearts there, or if you're like me and you're sleeping in it, then stay on top of all those other health rituals and important things that keep your health up since the energy is not necessarily supporting it. In 2021, this is where that energy is coming in. It's coming in the north. In 2022, it'll be in a different area. Also, in addition to the annual energy that comes in, your home has its own energy based on its birthday, on its construction date, on when it was built. So when the roof goes on and those windows go on, your home is a capsule for energy in that time. If you've been feeling run down, lethargic, tired for some time, and again, it's not an actual medical issue, this is just like your spirit, your energy feels low, not something that's fixed by a doctor, because I'm not a doctor, then maybe it's time for you to talk to a feng shui consultant. A classical feng shui consultant will be able to look at a few different factors when the home is built, the direction, the forms around your home and can understand where this energy may also be present in the base energies of your home. So you have your base energies of your home and then you have annual, annual energies that come in and mix with those energies every year. I mentioned in another video, this one, that there has been some immediate shifts in the way people feel and their sleep when we adjust even just mirrors in a bedroom. So feng shui really can change your life. And if you're ready, talk to a feng shui consultant about it. I'm here when you are ready. In the meantime, if you liked what you heard and you're ready to go boost that energy in the north, hit this like button, comment below, I am ready. And if you're new to this channel, then please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time a mindset or feng shui tip video comes out because if you take the tips from these videos you will transform a life you tolerate into one you treasure